approach these early season games any differently than a game in say April yeah for sure Kevin I think you're still not in tip uh, you're still trying to figure out any additions to the roster that have been made in the offseason and you're trying to find your own personal rhythm as as to how this season is going to get started so the approach for sure early on in Johnson ball and Booker the talented backcourt pair and it's Aiton in at the center filling out the middle and for the 76ers on the block it's Tucker next to Embiid yeah, and in that one they were aggressive but also efficient the exact balance you're looking to achieve well easy to be efficient on nights like that when everybody has things going let's see if they're still in the rhythm tonight and drawing first blood you know Kobe. Paul against Harden really just struggling here in the first few minutes five attempts with only one fall back to Harris and the jam by Harris Tucker, great job reading the floor and finding a way to set up a ready shooter back to Paul from the arc traps in the tray Chris Paul kind of like bridges outside Oh, Aiton in position. Booker, good. Devin Booker. Doing most of his damage on the perimeter. That time, Devin Booker showing he could score close to the rim. And they be giving that shot to anyone, but they certainly shouldn't be giving it to him. That's a big break for the defense. Length plus agility, great recipe for blocking shots. Embiid's one of the best to do. Just setting the tone with an aggressive move to the rag. And, and where's the help defensively? Yeah, APB sent out to try to fix back the ball from eight. Rebounded by Tucker. He's got so many ways to score in the post. Just nifty uses fakes. You have to have a body on him every time he's down there. And this is how a floor leader makes a statement. All right, just put the other shot from 16. No good there. And it's Philadelphia the other way. Here's Harden on the win. Defended by Paul. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. And you've got to admire the toughness that Embiid. I mean, that leadership with that young roster and giving those guys belief has elevated the play of everybody who's put on that uniform. And Eaton State. And the pass to Booker. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. And Beach got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Maybe a time to rest him right now. Just give him a bit of a breather. Try to help him get back on track. Paul passes to Bridges. Kicks to Booker. Here's the three. Another three for Phoenix. Booker. Well, they're trying. Gotten five of ten shots to drop in this game so far. Right at the 50% mark. Here's Embiid, and Embiid throws it down. You see that nasty streak Embiid possesses. Part of why he's a superstar. Great mode. And the sun here, and they have to get recharged. That's a great point. Without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of gas down the stretch of a, of a game. And that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you have got to be hydrated. Oh, he is a highlight reel. Here's a Kobe defended by Thibel. And now the 76ers on the break. Finished off the break. Now it's a six point Philadelphia lead. Well, they weren't going to pass up that chance to get out. Phoenix needs to get off the shot. For three, a Kobe. That one's off. He starts the game with a miss. Count the bucket coming off a perfectly placed assist. Bible's got six. And they're passing the ball very crisp. For three, a Kogi. That one's off. He starts the game with a miss. Count the bucket coming off a perfectly placed assist. Bible's got six. And they're passing the ball very crisp. Bridges left side. Out to Sharich stop the run and Embiid pulls it down Embiid's got rebound number eight here tonight in the game and that one gives them a plus five rebound advantage and I like their 
focus coming in. Terrific execution so far. Well, if there were four or five box on the wing, Melton. Here's Embiid. It drops for his third basket. He's missed only one shot. Excellent all-around performance so far. Hits the big lead. Well, if I was baking up a lead. The minutes, but nothing on the board yet. And all you got to do is look at the rebounding margin as to why they hold the lead. Well, every time the shot goes up, guys are doing a nice job of finding bodies and making sure there's room to collect the rebound. And the crisp passing has opened things up for the offensive. The 76ers have been successful on three of their four free throw attempts up to this point. That's his first. To the paint. There's the pass to a Kogi. And it's in off the backboard. Oh, nice. There's the dish to MB. Shot clock at six. On the wing, melt. Philadelphia needs to get a shot on And MB throws it down. Really seizing the momentum of this game, but doing it with a Mathias. Booker, the talented backcourt pick. The small and power forwards are Bridges and Johnson. And it's Aiton in at the center. The shot's good from Paul. Just five to shoot. Here's Harden. And it's Aiton with the rebound. Aiton's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Here's Bridges. And a great assist by Paul as that one goes in. Assisted. On the wing, Harris. Back to Maxi. Down to five on the shot clock. Harden inside the three-point line, and he gets the jumper to drop. Just fanning the flame. Yeah, he's the guy that you want to go to right now, trying to put this one away. Now here's Booker. He's coming off a 34-point game against Young Golden Ray State. Ages. Yeah, but all around. Get always ready to let it fly. And the proof is right there in the numbers, Greg. I mean, two seasons in a row, he's been top 10 in field goal attempts. So he knows how when and where to get that ball up. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, to David Aldridge. Mikhail David. Bridges. The group of guys we had, I knew I wanted to be here. And they are sure glad they got him, Kevin. They are indeed, no doubt. D.A., thank you. And that one, good. A little contact is not going to do enough against a guy like P.J. Tucker. They retain possession. Yeah, and Aiton stays with it. Aiton's got four points now in the quarter. Man, that's a grueling game foul. seven. So this season might be revenge time for this group. Getting another opportunity here to see that powerful reach. Five of seven from the field here in the second. Here's Paul. He shoots again. And Aiton with the layup. Aiton's got a corner. It's Bridges. Back to Paul. Lobbed up there for Booker. And the dunk by Booker. Chris Paul is going to find anybody that doesn't make them all, but still very much a high percentage look. The 76ers leading by five. Maxi passes to Niang. That one good for two. Hey, guys, they can see. Aiton inside. He's coming off a 16-point game against Golden State. And he also positioned himself perfectly to grab all those rebounds. Guys, can't forget about the fundamentals. Maxi up and in. Off to an efficient start. Two for three from the field. And arguably no one in the NBA draws more attention than Harden. Part of why that he creates so many opportunities. Pass to Bridges. Johnson outside. Here's Booker. Well tied yeah, pass, Booker. and he goes straight to the bucket yes, for the layup. Nine from him. Bucket six. Here's Payne. And the rejection by MB. Ahead. And the dunk by MB. Again, it's Joel MB that when he is on, there is. Now, here's Shannon. Guarded close. Shamit's got his first two points. Of Here's Korkmaz. He feeds it to Tucker. And the layup is good. Tucker's got six here in this quarter. They are just killing him on the interior. Now, here's Melton. 
Payne covering, and he gets the bucket. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Lee outside. Craig passes to Shamit, and the layup's good off the glass. Shamit. He can't get that one. Now the 76ers take it the other way. Melton's shot is good. And the 76ers lead by 11. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it. And Down low from 11 feet away. Payne can't hit. And still, he scores. Boy, they can use just a little bit of help from him. Inside. And the dunk by MB. And if you want to talk about a player who embodies the power game. Suns moving the ball around. Shamit finds charge. Yes, that goes in. Fighting through the contact. Dario does a great job that time. Awesome display of athleticism. Here's Korkmaz. Payne covering. Six to shoot. Melton passes to Embiid. And the dunk by Embiid. What a scary sight. Joel Embiid with all that. Been off the charts. For the three. Doesn't get it to drop for him. And that concludes the first half. 76ers lead by 13. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks very much. Joined by head coach Monty Williams. Coach, what were the areas of concern in the first half? Everything. They outworked us uh, out in transition. And even when they didn't score and flattened out our defense and gave them open looks, we just haven't played hard enough tonight and competed the way we're typical of competing. We'll see if you can pick it up as the game goes on, Coach. Thanks. Back to you guys. Thank you, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of action following halftime. All. Tries again. Aiton. That one is good again. He sits right from the Fia Sun for the foreseeable future. And so Booker will bring it up for the Phoenix Suns. Looking to end his cold spell. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. Chris Paul always in control. He gets hit. He keeps his balance on the tough shot. And he gets the and one. And we talk about the playmaking ability of CP3. Third all-time in career assist. And he scores with efficiency. Really a one-of-a-kind talent. When he finally does decide to hang him up, I think he'd make a great head coach as well. And uh, kind of par for the course here, right? Coming through with a talent. No good from Booker. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. Here's Maxi, and that one drops for him. Maxi's got eight points. I tell you what, it's it's almost like stealing to watch how he on that alley oop attempt. And yeah, you'd like to keep things a little more simple, and that was a play that didn't quite develop the way they wanted it. Tucker dishes to Embiid, a second chance effort. He lays it in. Yeah. And beats got this have been good for the league's moves to eliminate foul calls on non basketball moves. The NBA said it wanted the game to be played, not manipulated. Draymond Green says it helps to know that you'll have more of a fair opportunity as a defender. The guys can't just keep the system. Here's Maxi. Outside Harris to the middle. And there's MB. That's good on the assist from Tobias Harris. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. And it's Paul penetrating. And a great assist by Booker. As to Harris. Six on the shot clock to the inside. And MB throws it down. And just a smooth player who reads the floor in. That's going to draw a whistle every time down the floor. Not even close to being a legal screen. Yeah, everybody saw that one. That was pretty blatant there. And that replay. Oh, Phoenix will take it the other way. On the wing, Bridges. Guarded by Harden. The shot's good. Harden. Maxi passes to Embiid. Harden outside. 
shoots from the high post. Basket counts. Harden's got. Back to Booker. Three pointer. And he's good on the yeah, three ball. 14 points for him. He's been a little more right. selective in shooting threes. Has absolutely one of my favorite teammates of all time, Kevin, and one of the most delightful people that you ever could be around. I just think about the practices. And the playing. This game is done. They'll be off to take on the Raptors. And that'll be game one of a four-game road trip. Milton kicks to Harden. Slammed home, and he draws the foul. A chance for another point at the free throw line. It's going to be on charge. And this is hard to special. But maybe he can help them out trying to win this game. Now here's Harden. He's got 13. And Harrell shoots it in. Harrell in ideal position and then rises back up. He had a tough time taking the lid off. Now here's Bridges. He's covered closely. Hits it from about six feet away. Bridges. Bridges has got 10 point three. Johnson with the rebound. Suns trail by 17. To the paint. Fast break. Here come the Suns. Mikhail it's good. Bridges. That's 12 Assisted. points from. He has five. Clock is at three. It's going to be a 24 second shot clock violation. They turn it over. Phoenix ball. Matisse Thibel, Jack Hooker. 129 left to play here in the third. Payne passes to Johnson. Yep, that one goes in there. Payne's got his first two closing point guards, so it's that momentum that Cam Payne can come into the game to begin to turn the tide for his team in their favor. Oh, he just punches that one down with a fury. Rubs it in. And it's Shamit missing. Philadelphia's gotten one of six three-pointers to drop since coming out of the locker room at halftime. Here's Harrell. It's good. The assist that time from Harden. Harden's got his sixth assist on the night. The ball. Six-second difference between the shot and game clock. And he comes up with the deuce. Six points. Five on the clock. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. Superb at finishing through contact. Harden is just so elusive and creative on those strong drives. He is three for three from the free. On the court now for the Suns, getting going here in the fourth. We've got DeAndre Ayton. Paul out there with Landry Shamit. Then it's Torrey Craig. And it's a Kogi in a small forward. That's nice vision there. You see that pass. You make the feed before the defense has a chance to react. And that opens up a, a much better option. to Shamit. Aiton against Embiid. And that one's good, Aiton. The skip. Embiid kicks it to Tucker. Pass to Maxi. Six to shoot. Again, Philadelphia. Making the passes to Okogi. Craig with it. He's against Tucker. Here's Okogi. That one drops for him. That play never gets old. The pick and roll. 214 for the Suns. Embiid with the steal. And now the 76ers on the break. And slam dunk by Harris. That's a strong finish from Tobias Harris. This is it to a Kogi. Maxi against Paul to the middle. Shamit. And a great assist by Paul as that one goes in. Outside Maxi. Let's it go from 11. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. Aiton's Suns trail by 17. Here's Craig. And the basket is good. Corey Craig. Craig's got his first basket of the night. It's just a master class when Chris Paul has the ball. Great at orbit line these days, but still got to be active in the mid-range area. And the defense gets away with one there. Shamit, count the basket. And he had no aim. 13. Here's a Kogi. Pass to Craig. That one go. Let's count it. Craig's got four this quarter. That's Here's a Kogi. Guarded by Harris. 
Back to Paul. Five to shoot. And the lead is down inside single digits. For the adjustments at the bridges. Just five to shoot. And it's blocked. And he keeps control of the ball. Milton with the ball. Now guarded by Paul with the steal. And there it is for him. Paul. Well, uh, they're getting sessions, which is helping them get back into their offensive flow. Here's MB following the basket by Chris Paul. MB finds Tucker. That's him coming off the assist from MB. Embiid's got three assists in the game. It's the Maxi. 76ers moving the ball around. Here's Embiid. Solid play in the low block, and that one's good. And now a 9.76ers lead. Offensively, we see Embiid all over the floor. But in the Sixers leading by nine. Milton passes to Embiid. Lays it up off the glass. Embiid's got 12 points in just the second half. And the strength of Embiid oftentimes just over it to Embiid. in the corner. Just five on the clock. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. They're getting on a roll inside. Their last three field goals have come from the paint. Well, Greg, what can you say about Joel and Beach growth from a lead? Booker against Maxi. Misses off the left iron. Suns trail by 11. To the inside, and it's slammed in by Bridges. Harris with it. There's the triple. Offensive rebound, and Embiid throws it down. And doing some dirty work on the offensive glass. And then fouls it up, Greg, with hitting in the game. Two minutes. Booker against Maxi. That's good. The Philadelphia lead is cut down now. At six. At three off the mark. Suns trail by nine. Here's Booker. Again, Phoenix. Booker. Booker focused on. Here's Embiid. Maxi against Booker. Maxi passes to Embiid. Throws it down as the official calls the foul. It may be a three-point play. That one on eight. Now catching the lead pass at full speed. Terrific anticipation. And the delivery. Playing the last bit of this one out in what should be a nice win here for Philadelphia. They never settled for mediocre shots. And Kevin, they had great penetration this time out. And so with this, they'll end up with their second win on the year. And this is a great way for them to kick off this season series. And they've taken the mental advantage with this win tonight. And we watched Young one guy all night long, guys, at clock in the game. And Harden wide open. He shoots. Here's Embiid, and that's good. A nice job in the glass as they pick up two on the second half. Feel the energy. Yeah, huge motivation. Always great for a young team, but veteran players also appreciate when fans come with that kind of energy and get into the spirit of the game. So it's Philadelphia winning this one easily. Some good competition, but the hometown advantage and their ability to stay focused, I think, made the difference. Yeah, and the first step to becoming a good team is your ability to win at home. And they really seem to revel in that opportunity. And this is what they came out to do. And now, let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline for our player of the game. David, take it away. Hey, Kevin, thank you. Joel, you took over offensively. What went into finding that rhythm? I thought I got the shots that I wanted, and I played into the flow of the offense, and my teammates were finding me, so I just knocked down some shots. Well, they were smart to look for you, man, because you had it going on, man. Congrats. Back to you, Kevin.